All right, so we're going to get you started learning about meiosis. Oh. So mitosis. Oh, yeah, this is Mr. Brushko, and I'm here with Vivian. Hello, Vivian. Say hi. Hi. Say meiosis. Meiosis. Good job. So uh, in mitosis, you went from one two one cell to two two one cells. But meiosis is very different. And meiosis, you're going to go from one two one cell, and that's going to split into four N cells that have half the normal number of DNA. So if this was humans, for example, then you'd be starting out with uh, uh, 46 chromosomes in your 2N cell, and then each of these N cells would have 23 chromosomes. Why is this happening? Well, meiosis is how gametes are made. So these cells are gametes. And gametes are also known as sex cells or uh, sperm and egg. So, what's that? Orange. You want more orange? I think there's one in the bag. So, uh, two N cells, one from the male and one from the female, can join in fertilization to make a new 2N cell that is a zygote. So you can imagine that this process wouldn't work. Now can you open it? Yeah, I can start that for you. You can imagine that this wouldn't work if we started out with, uh, if meiosis was like mitosis, uh, and you started out with uh, sperm, that's 2N, and an egg, that's also 2N, uh, then this would lead us to a 4N zygote, and this is not what we want. So the next question is, is how does meiosis work? How does it work that we can go from a 2N cell and split this 2N cell into 4N cells? So I'm going to stop now, and I'll come back with another video on how, exactly how meiosis works.